Is AMD bluffing with Zen 4? Like, are they trying their best to debate us? What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is what we discussed today on your boot sequence. But first, let me thank Jawa for sponsoring today's news. Jawa is a marketplace where you can list or buy computer parts like motherboards, CPUs, and GPUs. They offer the lowest fees when compared to other places like eBay or Amazon. It's 3% for payment processing, 3.5% for platform fees, and it's capped at $50. So if you're selling, you can save hundreds in cash. You can also request whole desktop PCs from their verified sellers. You can take a look at this one, for example. They also sell notebooks and consoles, so visit jawa.gg now. The link is in the description down below. All right, let's start this journey by looking at the past. AMD has had quite the leaps and bounds since the release of their Zen architecture. With Zen 2, AMD thought that they could squeeze out 8 to 10% in IPC uplift. Well, they ended up with a whopping 15% in IPC improvement over Zen. With that, there was a very modest clock speed improvement, something like 200 megahertz for similar SKUs or 400 megahertz for the highest end models. Anyways, past that with Zen 3, we got even better results with a whopping 19% in IPC uplift. I mean, that's a huge uplift and IPC is important because like Dr. Lisa Su said, Every percent counts. And the reason it counts is because IPC lifts all boats. All applications improve with IPC, whether you're talking about gaming or heavily threaded applications and so on and so forth. So we're really, really happy with how Zen 2 has come about. But IPC, like Lisa said, is not everything. It bumps everything up, but what if you could change one part of the CPU and that would only bump one type of workloads, like gaming, for example? Well, that's why we have the 5800X3D. This architecture is the exact same as the 5800X. The IPC improvements is non-existent. The only difference here is the amount of L3 cache. Think about it like the 5800X being a system with a single channel four gigabyte stick of memory and the 5800X3D being the competing system that has 32 gigabytes of it. Guess which one performs better? Even though the CPU cores don't change, the memory amount does, and that affects the performance because the CPU doesn't have to spend time constantly flushing out the memory. And that's where gaming improvements come from, not the clock speed or IPC. In fact, the clock speeds are lower, yet the gains are still there in gaming for the 5800X3D. Productivity tests didn't see that much of a gain though. Some tests were actually slower because, well, the 5800X3D is actually clocked a little bit lower. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Well, I've seen a lot of people saying that Zen 4 is completely overhyped and that it's more like Zen 3 plus plus. Over on Twitter, there seems to be a war between some saying that AMD is sandbagging or downplaying Zen 4, while others say that Raptor Lake is coming for AMD's lunch. That's Intel's next gen processor. So let's talk about that. Exhibit A, AMD says that they have reached over a 15% uplift in single threaded performance, not IPC, but performance. That's important because it means that clock speeds are added into this calculation. If we take the 5950X, which has a max boost clock of 4.9 gigahertz, and we bring that up to the 5.5 gigahertz that we saw during uh, the gaming test for Zen 4, then we're looking at 12-ish percent in terms of performance improvements in clocks alone. So is the IPC improvement really around only three to 8%? Well, it's entirely possible. Some would consider this to be poor IPC gain, or they would consider Zen 4 to be like a refresh, like Zen 3++, plus plus. but you've got to admit, the clock speed increase is pretty insane. Then we have exhibit B the Blender test. AMD tested a 16 core version of their Zen 4 processor on a custom Blender test, and they put it against the 12900K. Here is what Lisa had to say about this. As you can see, the Ryzen 7000 system completes the process 31% faster, which means creators spend less time waiting and much more time creating. Now, this is a little bit weird. 
There is a convention when talking about things being faster or slower in computer software. If let's say I have a score of 100 at something and you have a score of 160, well, we would say that you were 1.6 times faster. There are other ways of saying it too, but they can be a little bit confusing. Like you have a performance increase of 60% or you were 160% faster or you were 60% faster, which the last two can be correct if the context is explained. Anyways, in all three cases, we say A is faster than B, which is what AMD says here. Play the clip again. 31% faster. In reality, the 12900K scored 204 points and the 16 core Zen 4 chip scored 297 points. That is a performance increase of 46% or 1.6 times faster or 146% faster. You get what I mean? Yet AMD decided to calculate this to get the lowest number possible, which is basically AMD has completed this test in 31% less time. That's a little bit weird, right? Those who use this argument are saying that AMD is sandbagging their own products, making them look worse right now to get better publicity when they actually announce the SKUs. Another thing to consider is that this is still an engineering sample this chip might not be running at its full power envelope, meaning that some tweaks could be made to see even higher clock speeds. I mean, I remember back with the Zen 2 when AMD announced a 15% IPC uplift, yet MSI showed an older slide with a 13% IPC uplift on their stream, meaning that some last minute adjustments helped performance. So yeah, anyways, what do you guys think about all this? Does this feel like a Zen 3 plus plus refresh to you? Or do you think that AMD has a great architecture on their hands? Let me know what you think down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. That was premature. You can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Rolling them dice, I love it, I love it, I'm fine. Canvas for faces, I'm painting these pictures of mine. Rolling them dice, I love it, I love it, I'm fine.